Hello and welcome. Today we're going to check out the winners of the Let Em Dare 38 uh, game jam. I, I, th I think this is the first, uh, this is one of the first Let Em Dare things I've done on my channel, other than the thing I did a couple days ago. So I, th I figured we probably should explain a bit more what uh, what is all involved with Let Em Dare uh, before we play the winners. Um, so basically there is, there's two different con competitions during Let Em Dare. There is the, the jam and there is the compo. The jam is where you have, you're allowed to be have teams, you're allowed to get third party assets like uh, music and audio and things, as long as they're free obviously, you have the right to use them. Uh, and, and it's a 72 hour competition. So these games are a little bit more polished and you have proper teams that are building uh, these games, developing these games. Now it's still, of course, a um, in 72 hours it must be made, you know, that kind of thing. So it's still a, a difficult time thing you have to cram everything into that, that three days um, but uh, that is the jam version um, and uh, the other one is the compo uh, the compo is where it's you have to be solo it's only you and you uh, have to make all of your content all of your content has to be made by you art music sounds everything has to be done by you you cannot take anything from anyone else you can't get help from anyone else you, you have to do it all yourself and uh, so those are a little bit more. It's, like, it's, it's well, as it says, hard mode. It's, it's like the hardcore version of Let Them Dare, basically. And each one of these entries, uh, whether you go into the jam or the compo, you get rated separately. So all of the jams get their own thing, and, and all the compos do. So we're gonna play the first place winners of the jam and the compo today. So first off, let's do the jam, which is Honey Home. Now this is the more polished. Has it uh, can have a proper team working on it. As you can see, we've got three folks that worked on. This one, uh, this is called Honey Home. Basically, we're going to be a bunch of bees, and we have to make our way home. We can stop off with some flowers, pick up more bees, avoid raindrops, avoid frogs, that kind of thing. It's a simple WASD to move around. So let's go ahead and do it. All right. Move around to the flowers to begin. All right, there we go. All right, so that was, was built by three folks during the Game Jam. The Game Jam was uh, back uh, last month, the end of last month. And uh, had tons of entries. You can go. I'll put a link in the description to the thing, and you can check out all of the all of the entries. And you can you can play most of them. Oh, I lost a bee. You can play most. Oh, I lost a bunch of bees with that raindrop. All right, so avoid raindrops. We're gonna we're hitting the flowers and picking up bees. There we go. There we go. I have a feeling things will get much more difficult here in a minute. Like when we hit giant ah, drops of water. Oh, we can push those. All right. So we come in here, we're going to grab just swarms of bees, and we're trying to get the end. You can kind of see the top there. Ah, how we're... Ah, bro! How we're, how we're doing. I need a joystick for this. There we go. Oh, oh. Well, we got eaten. Lots of we got, we got eaten. Alright, let's see if we can make it to the end. There's only, what, five of us left? Six of us? Seven of us left? This is a number there at the top, tells us. Um, oh no, I did... Oh no, we failed! Oh, it's sad. A sad dead little bee. Everything like, oh. <laughs> Thanks for the bee tips. Yeah, let's try that again. One more time. We're gonna see if we can win this one. Before we move on to the next one. Alright, there we go. Sorry. We're gonna do better. We're gonna, we're gonna avoid them. We can also use our mouse, I suppose. Let's try that. Maybe we can do that better. That one. There we go. Yes. Yes. We're nowhere near where we were before, but that's fine. We're going to get a large collection of bees, so whenever they all die, we won't look so bad. There we go. There we go. There we go. So yeah, the love there, it's... I've watched a bit of uh, some of the developers make make the games. A lot of times they'll live stream them. And it's, they're quite interesting to watch. And get everything. Watch like a proper game get created in in such a short amount of time. Pretty interesting. I wish I had the skills to develop. I should just sit down and learn, I suppose. Oh no, frogs! Okay, this is, this is about how how far we got before. There we go. No, there's enough for that. I want I want the bees. There we go. Okay. Avoiding things, not just flying straight into them like we've been doing. Again, these, these are, of course, all free to, to download. I'll put a link in the description for both of these. Try them out. Woo! I only got one of me. Okay, get the flower. And then... Oh, we're gonna lose a bunch of it. Come on, come on, come on. 
We're almost there. We're almost there. There it is. We made it. How do we get in? What's going on? We're attacking the... What's going on? What do we do? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. More beef axe? Nope. No beef axe this time. All right, so that was Honey Home, first place in, I believe it was f fun and overall. I didn't really mention that, uh, but you get you get rated in all kinds of different categories. And this one won overall and fun. And in 48 Innovation, you can see all the different, uh, different categories that they get rated in. So, anyways, that was Honey Home. Next up, we have Small Trek. Now, this is the one that won the compo. We've got first in fun and overall. On the combo, this is one where you go solo, you make all of your assets yourself. A little more rough game, it's also only done in 48 hours. But, uh, let's try that one out. Here. Alright, so we are a spaceship, basically. The goal of the game is, what's that, a small game about exploring a small galaxy and a small spaceship, resolving small conflicts on small planets. Now, the, the, um, the theme of this Let Em Dare was Small World. Each time they do, they have a new theme, and uh, so that's the idea here. We are a spaceship, we gotta go, it's like a puzzle game. We gotta run around different planets and solve puzzles. Extra report in. Uh, I gotta click on the game window. There we go. Thank you, Commander. Unrest in this quadrant is now at 87%. Outrageous. We're gonna fly over to this planet. We're gonna land. And we have to solve the conflict. So we can, we have X and Z basically is all we're gonna be using. X will tell us what it is. So we have a Botarni, mostly friendly plant-loving humanoid, gets aggressive when deprived of flora. So he wants the plants. Nutritious edible plant requires plenty of sunlight, required by the Botarni. So what we need to do is just basically move him over there. It's a puzzle game. And we have the rock, which is a boring rock full of delicious minerals beloved by Rotans, which are these guys. So what we have to do is get, we get the Botarni over by the plants and get these guys over by the rocks. So we're going to grab my ship, move it over here. I'm going to move you over here. Uh, I think. I think. You over here. I need you. I'm going to do. How am I supposed to. So you can't move the rocks or the plants. You have to move just the people. Oh, puzzle games. Okay, like that. You go over here. Um. I didn't solve anything. Oh, puzzle games. Um, let's see. You go down here. You go here. Can I go diagonal with these? No, I can't. So, you need to be up here. Oh, man. How many moves did it take? There we go. <laughs> 24 moves. Well, you know, we solved it. We're not in any kind of hurry to solve these puzzles. <laughs> Alright, episode 2. Let's go down here. To the, We have uh, reports of... Chrysor and Axe fighting with Botarni and Rotanza over access to crystals. Go see if you can sort it out. Alright. So, now we have a new species here. We have these guys. Which is, they gather the power from crystals and can channel it through themselves to others. Hates. Cuddles. Uh, Alright, so we gotta get you over to the crystal. You need to bite by the rocks. We have to be... You need to be over here. How are we gonna do this? So, you... Like this. You like this. You like that. You like that. There we go. Done. Save the day again. Okay, next. Great work resolving that conflict. They seem to be causing more issues in Alpha Quadrant. Keep an eye out. Okay, we'll go here. I think there are. I'm trying to see how many. There's like 60 some missions on this. Alright, so again, we have to get these crystal guys. Now they can channel it through themselves. So I believe if we can move you over here, you like that. You stay there. You go here. There we go. Excellent. And, uh, yeah, that's basically all there is to this game. Small trick. Let's land there. A report of a uh, Patari conflict with the Batarans in their sector. They're quite social creatures. I hope you're using the info button. Oh, we have new people. Okay. So what do you do? You, most friendly creature, thrives on diversity, needs company of other species. Okay, so we're going to have to, I guess, have you touching a green guy. So if we just do, like...
that, that, and then you go there. Right? Needs company of other species. Maybe all three of them need to be next, next to you? There we go. Alright, I gotcha. You're so angry because there's no one around. Alright, we'll do one more of these. And there. Ooh, missed it. Alert, there's four-way conflict now uh, that Patari are advancing in the, re in the region. But I trust you can solve their disputes. Alright. So there's lots of folks here. So we need you to be over here by the crystals. You certainly have to be above the rocks. And you're over here. You have to be next to everyone. So if we do that... There we go. The rock guy was kind of off by himself, but, you know, whatever. Uh, anyways, I think that's about enough uh, of this one. So that's, this is Small Trek again. Uh, I'll put a link in the description for both of these. You can check them out. Uh, as well as the Let em Dare page. You can check all of them out. Um, anyways, thanks again for watching. If you like seeing these sort of things, the game jam kind of games, let me know. I, I'm... I like playing them. I, uh, they, they're, they're fun, they're free, and it's it's nice to see these kind of games that are that you know have that put so much effort into them in such sort of time. And I like showing these kind of things off. So, anyways, thanks again for watching, and I will see you next time.